Hello, everybody. So, you either follow the rules or you get banned from my YouTube channel. I say that because I've been called the N word and 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 bad things yesterday in my live stream video. And I want to explain to you why I made that live stream video yesterday. Yes, it was pitch black darkness in the video. Let me explain why. Pitch black darkness in that video because there was no light, of course. Went to go for a walk in my neighborhood and then went to the store, get some groceries, come back. And then I saw the comments and somebody spelled out N word. I'm not even going to spell it out, I'm not going to say it, but you know, if you guys know what it is, you know what it is. And if it was some kid or someone with a fake account trolling, and this is one of the reasons why I don't allow kids on my channel, because nine times out of ten, it's somebody who's a kid with a fake channel trolling or pretending to be me or saying things you're not supposed to be saying or doing. So whoever did that yesterday, that is a sin. That's abomination. Please don't. The Lord doesn't like that. And yes, I'm the Lord, and God's anointed, I'm chosen. I'm not even going to explain to you how or why that's between me and the Lord. But you know what? Yes, I'm a Christian, and believer, and the Lord Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And anybody who's saying the N-word or saying things like that, they don't obviously don't know history or slavery and other things that they don't know about. Because if you're African-American, you they were foolish enough to take back that word from slavery and use it. Let's say the Jews taking back a word from the Holocaust and using it just to make slander or music out of it, whatever, or Native Americans taking words or anything Columbus represents and using that as a good thing. You can't take history or part of it and change it up a little bit to make it good. That's not how it works. Somebody told me on TikTok that, well, they, they say it, you don't, so what's the big deal? The big deal is the big part of the history behind that word. And no, it wasn't white Americans who enslaved Africans. It was white Europeans who did it. So if you're going to get your history right, get your history right. Yes, I'm white, but I'm not a European. I'm an American. I was born and raised in the United States. One of the best countries in the world. Now, the history behind it would say otherwise, but you can thank the Europeans for that. Not Europeans today in the 2024 and the 21st century, because, yes, we still live in the 21st century. The slavery and all the history I'm talking about was way back in the 15th, 16th century. But those times are done. When's the time you guys are going to move on, no matter what race, ethnicity, or what language you speak? It's time everybody moves past history. That history is done. You can't erase it. You can't take it back. But the important thing is to move forward and to focus on what's yet to come. So, and those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. So you keep saying these kind of words, your own words will condemn you. And now the N-word is not in the Bible. I'm talking about the use of it, not African American. I'm talking about the use of it. See, anybody gets mad when it's a white person saying this, but when it's somebody who's not white, no one seems to care. Why is that? And who started that nonsense? Nobody should be saying it. And if you say it, you're just as guilty as the perpetrators who did the slavery. Because white Europeans invented the word. You don't believe me? Go Google it. I did my research on it. I Googled it. 